Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'd like to review for you a season I just watched called Kevin Can F Himself, season one. This one was provided to me for review by RLJE Films. If you get a chance to check it out, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Very curious what you guys think about this one. And remember, you can find more information with the links. Purchase one down in the description. So this is the first season, and I didn't really know what to expect out of this, just based off the kind of synopsis and description of the show. It sounded very odd, and it is, it is very different. A very unique idea on this one about a couple. Um, the husband's name is Kevin. And he's, they basically live in a sitcom. Now in the show, I believe they are living in the sitcom. So it's like a show and a show kind of thing. And so whenever Kevin is around, he's doing just really kind of goofy, silly things. And it always involves his neighbor and his dad. And they just get into the, all these kind of hijinks. It kind of reminds me a lot of like Everybody Loves Raymond or, or lots of similar kinds of sitcoms. But I feel like they exaggerated it even more just for effect in the show. And whenever Kevin's around, everything's bright and, and well lit. And I almost kind of feel like that's the show, like that's the sitcom. Now, whenever his wife or the, the woman who's the neighbor is away from Kevin, everything's always dark. There's no lights on. Everything looks gloomy and depressing. And it's like, this is what happens off camera. So if you could just imagine a, a sitcom you know, the husband comes to the room and this is the show, you know, when the husband's around, that's usually the show. But what happens when the husband's not around? And, that, and that's the other portion of this show. And I'm not positive that that's what they were going for, but that's kind of how it seemed to me. Sometimes I'm like, am I reading too much into this? Uh, I also kind of wondered if uh, they could, uh, you could just take out all the parts without the husband and make like, just like a sitcom, like if it would work. I'm not sure that there's enough there, but that'd be a really cool idea if they did that. Um, these are eight 43 minute episodes. So it could be like half the sitcom and half her stuff or whatever. So basically she decides she's had it with Kevin and for whatever reason, she can't leave him. that never works. So her only option is to kill him. She doesn't really have, I guess, an idea on how she's gonna kill him. So she goes to the library to research how to kill someone. That's a normal thing right uh, so so she goes and she finds this guy who od'd on drugs and the cops or the the paramedic or whatever says you know that's normal everybody does it so she decides she's gonna have him od on drugs so she's trying to secure these drugs for him to od on but everything kind of keeps going wrong and, and nothing really goes her way and there's also this story about her having an affair and he never knows what's going on he's just always doing his silly schemes and and whatnot, and um, it ends up being actually really funny. Like, I thought this show was really funny. Um, I really enjoyed the story, and I thought it was very, like, a very unique thing, and I, I definitely hope the show continues. Unfortunately, they do end on a cliffhanger, so, you know, definitely want to watch season two already, so, you know, <laughs> I hope that comes out. Um, but I enjoyed this show a lot, guys. I think it's definitely one to check out. Uh, I've said several times already, very unique. I don't remember ever seeing anything uh, quite like this one. Uh, I gave it a four to five. Definitely enjoyable. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check the chess videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.